guess we're ready to try the problem. So it's Yeah, what are the units on that answer? Cool. Now, actually, the units are rats. Oh, rats. Remember, okay. if you were going to put in units, it would be 12.7.01 joules per kilogram. But that's too confusing. Let's just say that it's rats. But it's not joules per kilogram, because a rat is not just a joule per kilogram. But if you look at the problem, they told us to express the answer in rats. So we can just say that this is our answer here in rats. Good. But what's the total energy of the radiation graph received? Oh, is that 12.727 um, times 0.01 joules? Try working that out. Ah, that's good. That's right. So this is a unit conversion problem. We have 12.7 rads, but we need to get rid of the rads and replace that with... Oh, but that's still joules, joules per, per kilogram. kilogram. But we just want joules. That's right. So then... You multiply, I don't know, one kilogram. How many joules are in one kilogram? We're doing real good. You're almost there. Don't forget to reread re part A. Oh. Oh, so point oh two two seven times point oh two seven. That sounds good. Let's write that down as part of the unit conversion. All right, you were doing good, except you didn't leave yourself enough space. But that's a good setup that you got written down there. How do you know that you should multiply by 0.027 and not divide by 0.027? This on the bottom. Okay, you really figured that out. That's good. So you can see these are really about unit conversion. So this conversion over here allows us to cancel the rads. But what units do we want our answer to be in? Joules. So we still have an extraneous unit. We still need to get rid of these kilograms. But we know that Jack's mass is 0.027 kilograms. And we know we should be multiplying by the 0 0.027 because we want this kilograms up here to cancel with this kilograms in the denominator over yeah. here. So that's definitely a very good setup. All right. So 0.0034. Oh, oh, three, What units would that be in? Joules. Okay, good. So you can see these are definitely about unit conversion here. So it was good that you canceled out the rads using our conversion that we talked about before. And then we had to do another little conversion and get rid of the kilograms. And we did that by multiplying by the kilograms. That was a good way of analyzing that. Looking at part C? Yeah. Okay. So is our is R D E is one point five. That's what they told us, that's right. And then it says the same rad dosage, so that's what we got in part A. Yeah, that's right. Which was um one hundred or twelve 
12.727? That's what we figured out in part A. That's right, 12.7. So that equals REN? Yeah, good. So that is 15.24. That sounds right. So again, we used REM equals RADs times RBEs. They told us to use the same RADs from part A because Joe was getting the same number of RADs as Jack. And they gave us a new RBE of 11, not 1.5. Yeah. And then the REMs were 19.05. Remember that REM tells you the overall health effects. So what was the overall health effect on Jill, 19.05 REMS? Yeah. And what was the overall health effect on Jack? Um, 12, no, 140. So who's in bigger trouble health-wise? Jack. He's in a lot more trouble. Why is he in more trouble if he, if he got the same number of rats? They both got 12.7 rats. Because he had a bigger RBE. That's right. What, what, who had a, which particles was he getting hit with? Neutrons? And which particles was Jill getting beta hit with? Rays. Beta rays. So which is more dangerous? Beta rays. I mean, neutrons. In fact, we can see that these neutrons here are um, somewhere around 11 times more dangerous than the beta rays. So that's the significance of the RBEs here. Good. Okay, so the key things we went over here were this conversion ratio, we saw this is a little bit of a tricky conversion ratio to work with. So you want to hold on to these notes over here. And we also saw how to figure out REMs, RADs times RBEs. You want to make sure you don't lose these notes because what we just went over is not in the textbook. The textbook doesn't talk about RADs or REMs, so you want to hold on to those notes.